All right, sir, can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, sure. Do you own your home? I own a home, yes. Did you buy a new home or a used house? <laughs> uh, I guess a used house. Why do you buy new? I don't, I don't think they make them like they used to. What if I told you they build them even better? I'd have to see it to believe it. All right, let's see it. Technology has changed so many aspects of our lives today. Think of our cell phone or the way we work, the way we do business or the way we watch entertainment. A lot of people don't stop to think about what it's done for home building. Builders these days have invested so much more in engineering and technology and the resulting home would be inconceivable 10 years ago. We recently visited a company called ProBuild, the nation's largest supplier in building materials, to see how the construction of structural building components has had an effect on modern home building. These components are designed and assembled to precise specifications and then delivered to the construction site with specific instructions based on industry best practices. So this isn't just a bunch of guys balancing on ladders and holding up boards. These components are built and designed to the latest codes and standards. So what does that mean for you? That means your home is going to be quieter, you're going to sleep better, it's safer, it's more energy efficient. These homes are built better for the long term. Although the off-site construction of building components are used by multiple builders these days, that's just one example. I'm here with Clay Thornton. Clay, you've been a structural manager for a long time. I bet you've seen a lot of changes. A whole lot of changes. First thing I want to point out is the, the roof structure. If you'll take a look up at the roof, we've got the, the roof trusses that, that are smaller in dimension than uh, typically frame lumber. We didn't used to do it that way. We've also got some uh, triangles uh, designed through the structure which give it the strength of uh, much heavier material. These are finger jointed studs. They're stronger, they're straighter, they're more warp resistant and they won't bow and they give us a much stronger, longer lasting wall. So it sounds like the structure really has evolved with construction these days from the roof structure to the wall structure down to the joints to the wall studs. And it's still evolving. So what do you know about house wrap? House wrap? So Clay, tell us more about the house wrap. I know this is a new material. Yes, this is a new material. We used to use the old black felt paper uh, you're used to seeing. This actually uh, keeps wind and rain from coming in, yet it allows the moisture vapor on the inside to escape. And there's multiple types of this house wrap, is that right? Yes, yes. You can use styrofoam sheathing, you can use a reflective sheathing. The, the house wrap is dependent upon the exterior finish on the wall. And this is an example of how the construction material is evolving with new homes compared to an older home so that the house keeps the water out, but it also is allowed to breathe and properly ventilate. Did you know that roofing materials have changed in the past 10 years? Hmm, how so? So Clay, what can you tell me about the evolution of roofs? Well, the roof actually begins before the roof uh, with the decking that goes on and right. we use what we call radiant barrier uh, decking now, mm -hmm. which puts a piece of foil on the underside of the sheathing Keep on your home. Cooler, right? Keeps the attic much cooler. How about the shingles? Uh, the shingles themselves are much improved. They have a better warranty on them than, than our older shingles and uh, it's a better product. Also the uh, roof jacks, the penetrations through the roofs are flashed much better with uh, rubber flashing that is uh, wind and waterproof. And I can't tell you how many times as a home inspector how much water leakage I've seen in an older home. I've been in attics and you can see there's so many areas that penetrate the roofs and water gets in in these older homes with these lead pipes and old flashing. They're kind of loose fitting. And now we have these rubber caulk tight seals to keep water from getting in through the roof. We have a better quality shingle, we have better flashing, and then we have a radiant barrier underneath the shingles to keep UV rays out of the attic, keeping the house cooler. That's right. Have you seen any difference in windows and doors? How, how do you mean? So what about windows and doors? I know these are different, right? Yeah, the windows are a whole lot different. The windows are double pane. These windows are vinyl windows. They're much more energy efficient than the old windows. The installation of the windows is much better and much tighter. As you can see, the foam uh, that's outlined the windows, uh, we seal these things very tight and they're also uh, flashed much better. So tell me about doors. How are doors different? Well, the new door units today is a much tighter unit. The doors themselves, the opening and closing part of those doors are 
fiberglass or metal or composite, and they all have an insulated core, so it's a much better, more energy efficient door. Sure, and I know that the garage service door it usually is metal now to isolate a possible fire to the garage. So doors are better material, they're safer for the homeowner, and they're also more energy efficient. Clay, we have covered a ton of fantastic information today, and we're just barely scratching the surface, aren't we? We're just hitting the surface. We didn't even talk about warranties yet. Let's talk about warranty a minute. Typically, a builder has a one-year wall-to-wall warranty on the home. There is additional warranty on the heating and air, the electrical and the plumbing, and there's also a 10-year structural warranty on most new homes. It's incredible. So you're spending your free time actually enjoying your new home and your life rather than fixing all these old things that we're used to home. And safety, a lot of people don't realize how much safer a new home really is. Let's talk about safety. Okay, we have smoke detectors, we have carbon monoxide detectors, we have upgraded electrical systems to include arc fault breakers and GFCIs, and we have a security system in the home. Right, so it keeps your family safer and healthier. With a new home, you don't have to worry about asbestos or lead-based paint or those scary things that may be in an older home. What that boils down to is peace of mind for your family. Clay, thank you so much for the great information today. Thank you. So you can see so many reasons, safety, health, quality of construction, all of these things come with a starter home. This isn't even high end, this is a brand new starter home house, you get all these things included. So considering all of this, do you think you might think twice before buying used again? Yeah, I think I might. Start fresh, buy new.